Let's say that we want to create a trunk interconnecting switch SW1 and SW2. Specifically, the encapsulation type we want to use is IEEE 802.1Q. When we set up a trunk port on a switch, we can specify a specific mode of operation. We've already seen the access mode. The access mode says to a port, you are an access port. You're going to belong to one VLAN. If we say that a port is operating in trunk mode, we're forcing it to be a trunk, but there's something else that's subtly happening in the background. We are sending out dynamic trunking protocol, or DTP frames, to the far end of this link. We're trying to negotiate the formation of a trunk. Yes, we're statically configuring ourselves as a trunk, but we're attempting to negotiate a trunk with the far side. And if that far side is a Cisco switch and it's configured to respond to DTP frames, a trunk is going to be formed. However, that trunk might not be formed if the far end is a Cisco switch and it's configured for no negotiate. It does not respond to DTP frames. Or maybe it's a non-Cisco switch that doesn't even understand DTP. And because we might not be positive what's happening on the other end of the link, many people like to use the dynamic mode. The dynamic mode says, I'm willing to be a trunk port if the other side agrees, but if the other side does not agree, I'll be an access port. Notice that we have two types of dynamic modes. There is dynamic desirable and dynamic auto. Dynamic desirable says, I'm willing to be a trunk, and I'm even going to initiate the negotiation of this trunk formation. In other words, I will send out, I will originate DTP frames. The other option is dynamic auto. Dynamic auto says, I'm willing to respond to DTP frames. If somebody sends me a frame saying, hey, let's negotiate a trunk, I'm good with that. Let's form a trunk, but I will never initiate that negotiation. Dynamic Auto will never originate this DTP conversation. Now that we understand these different modes of operation, let's consider some of the different combinations and permutations. What if one side is set to one mode and the other side is set to another mode? Let's say, for example, that SW1 in our example is set to an access mode. It really doesn't matter what SW2 is set to. If one side is set to access, a trunk is not going to be formed. What if SW1 is set to trunk mode and SW2 is set to dynamic desirable? Well, trunk is going to be sending out DTP frames. Dynamic desirable is also going to be sending out DTP frames. And dynamic desirable is willing to become a trunk. In this case, yes, a trunk will be formed. If SW1 is set to trunk, it's going to send DTP frames. Those are going to be seen by SW2 set to dynamic auto, perhaps. Dynamic Auto is not going to initiate DTP frames, but if the other side initiates those frames, yes, Dynamic Auto will form a trunk. So if one side is set to trunk and the other side is set to Dynamic Auto, a trunk will be formed. If both sides are set to trunk mode, they're both sending DTP frames and they're both statically operating as a trunk, yes, a trunk will be formed. What if both sides are set to Dynamic Desirable? They're both willing to become a trunk, and they're both initiating those DTP frames. They're both initiating the negotiation, so a trunk will be formed. If one side is set to dynamic desirable and the other side is set to dynamic auto, only the dynamic desirable side is going to be initiating those DTP frames, but they'll be responded to by the other side. A trunk will be formed. And finally, dynamic auto on both sides. A trunk will not be formed here because even though both sides are willing to become a trunk, they're only willing to become a trunk if the other side initiates that negotiation. It reminds me of when my wife and I are trying to decide where to go out and eat somewhere. I'll say, where do you want to go eat? Oh, I don't really know. I'm not really craving anything. Where do you want to go eat? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you pick? I picked last time. Why don't you pick? Neither one of us suggests a restaurant for a very long time, and as a result, we don't go anywhere. Same thing happening here. Nobody is initiating the negotiation. They're both willing to become a trunk, but nobody is suggesting that, hey, let's become a trunk. And as a result, if both sides are set to dynamic auto, a trunk is not going to be formed.